All right, fourth attempt, fourth attempt. Well, uh, first time was too long, second time kept kicking my mic, and third time uh, I accidentally hit the space bar because I've got my keyboard propped up so that I can have my build mat here. So you're gonna, uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to make, how, how to get good Instagram pictures. Get this out of the way. Good uh, pictures for Instagram using nothing but your phones, stock camera, uh, a clip on macro lens. I'll find a link to where you can buy one of these or something similar on Amazon, and I will put a link in the description to it and the Am the Instagram app itself. So, I in the first video I went through the whole process of making the coils and coil them up and getting the picture and all that good stuff but it just ended up too long so here's the coils it is fused clapton parallel with regular clapton it's coming into 0.12 so run fine on this um i i think we would have liked to have it a little bit higher but uh, well. anyway so it's on the goon rda and what you're gonna need there you go. I'll adjust this. There we go, that's a lot nicer. We just position get your camera up. And you just position this so there's no there we go. So that it's all blurry. And then you can get really, really up close macro images of basically whatever you like and I will oh. there we go got a wee picture of the button there and I'll post that up now so yeah, um, what you want to do is get that a picture that you like, or a picture that you've taken of your coils. Obviously, it doesn't just have to be coils, but it's good. It, it's very good for uh, macro images of things. Now I've already uploaded the thing, the picture, because I thought, hey, I've already got it done. So, I'm going to have to try and emulate what I did already with the picture that I got. So, I'm typical blue Peter fashion. Here's one I had earlier. So, I'm going to move this a little bit just to, so that I can use my phone here. You guys can see it nicely. You're not going to be able to see it very well, to be honest. Um, the it's just too bright so i might remake this at some point if, if this bit isn't really crucial it's just a few tips for you using your settings so i used uh this picture here so there we go so i use that one and we're gonna go bang to the filters now you can use whatever filter you want really there's no there's, I'm not telling you that this is the one to use and you have to do this. It's very, very subjective. So, you can use really whatever ones you like. Uh, I stick with Clarendon. It's literally the first one. Beep. Like that. And uh, I quite like that filter. So, I'm going to keep using that filter. Because I use it in all my other pictures and it kind of sticks with the vibe. So then you don't want to just pick a filter and then you're done. A lot of people do that and it doesn't end up looking good. That looks okay as is, but it's just nice to tweak a little bit more. You can go to adjust. And I like to get my coil kind of centered. Oh, centered and kind of parallel with these guidelines like that there we go that's lovely uh, brightness 
I bring up just a little bit? Ten. Uh, the real tip with all of these settings, it goes for all of them. Very, very, very uh, minute changes to contrast. Only bring it up to about 20. And structure. I do like to have a decent bit. So maybe 20, 18, that's fine. Warmth. Uh, 30 seems good. I think that's what I had before. Saturation. We could bring that up. Bring some warmth. I only bring that to five. Color. I generally don't use the color option. Uh, fade. I always have just about six or seven. That's nice. Highlights. Bring them out. Twenty-eight. Shadows. Uh, about minus six. It's nice enough. A vignette, I always have a really strong one, so up to about 70. Tilt shift, and I, for coils, I match it up like that, and then just let it do its thing. Sharpen, I always have it very, very sharp. So 60, 70 is where I usually have it. And I'll take a screenshot of this, I'll take I'll get the pictures from my Instagram and I'll get the previous or the before shot of the actual coil. But the real, the big advice here is just do very minute changes. Start off with a good quality image uh, and you should have a good quality image in the end. Um, so here's the pictures. Alright, so you've seen the before, you've seen the after. Uh, I believe I was meant to like, put a picture in like during the video, but I fucking forgot. And I think it was the one of the button to this X1. Um, so yeah, that's how you get some decent Instagram pictures. It really doesn't matter. Like, it's, it's nothing that's gonna, it won't make it nice sort of vape on but it's just nice if you if you use instagram a lot like a lot of people do then it's good um aside from that i hope you enjoyed that video i hope it helped you you know get some good pictures uh you know go follow my instagram that's another thing uh Om my coils O H M M Y C O I L S to my Instagram. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a link in the description for the uh, for a macro a phone macro lens thing. Um, aside from all this, uh, in the next while I don't know when because I'm waiting on uh, Amazon delivering my MOSFETs. But I'll be doing a build log of this. This is my Hexome. Was my Hexome. Until it broke. And I decided I'm going to remake it. It was black and had the blue splatter with the Hexome symbol here. And I just decided to take it all off. Uh, I'm also not I'm going to be doing it. A very basic one. So no screen, no potentiometer. I took those out. And I'm filled those with epoxy. Still need to sand that bit down. I'm gonna have it flat, uh, hopefully good and see through. But I can already see there's loads of bubbles in there, so it'll probably it probably won't look amazing, but it looks okay. So they're filled in. Uh, I'm gonna get work working on that actually after this, and then once I get my MOSFETs, I will do a video walking you through me struggling to wire this box mod so that should be fun and other than that that's absolutely it thanks very much for watching subscribe like comment all that gear and uh yeah hope you enjoyed the video hope it helped you bye